if no, then no, I start no. the tutorial. Sorry, uh, Kai Chen, you are, you are saying something? Uh, no. Okay, right. Uh, can someone remind me, last question, what was the question that we do? Uh, we did for our last tutorial. Can someone remind me? Uh, innovation use existing technology okay, capabilities. Right. Okay, thank you. So today I want you to discuss. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, I want you to discuss question ten. Okay, choose a technology of your choice and evaluate it using the nine elements model. Can you still remember what are the nine elements? Physiology, psychology, sociology. Uh, historical and so forth. Okay, so when you choose a technology, make sure that the technology that you are choosing is meeting the, is having the characteristic of technology that we have discussed earlier, and then just to justify that your technology that you selected is considered as a technology here, and then evaluate it using the nine elements model. Okay, now when you evaluate it using the nine element models, certain uh, certain elements may not be relevant. Okay. But if it is not relevant, you don't skip it. You just write it down. For example, philosophy, uh, this uh, this element is not relevant. You just write down there. Okay. So I give you twenty minutes to prepare for your answer. Right. Twenty minutes from now.
Uh, sir, I'm Wei Hong. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Wei Hong. Why, why, you, why you late? Why come late? Oh, sorry. I just now I go take bath. Okay. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay, okay. You know my question or not? Uh, no. Okay, I post a question again, uh. Okay.
remember if let's say the elements are not relevant you still need to put down the elements yeah and mention that it is not relevant Uh, class before I forget uh, next week Tuesday and Friday there won't be any class uh, because I'm attending a uh, conference it will be replaced uh.
make sure you discuss every element, uh, starting from the historical, sociolog philosophy, uh, sociology, psychology, politics, law, ecosystem, and also the uh, physiology. Uh. Okay, have you all done? Are you all ready with your answer? Hello class, have you all finished with the, with the answer or not? Not quite. Not Hello, I, I can't hear you. Uh, who's that? Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, what is that? Not finished yet. Finished or, or not yet? No, no. Not okay. yet. How long do you need? How many minutes more do you need? Uh, 10 minutes more. Okay, right. 10 minutes later.
another three minutes get ready your answer finish your off your last sentence Okay, class, guys, are you ready to share your answer? It should be ready already, huh? Well, it's 30 minutes already instead of 20 minutes. Okay, let's listen from... Uh, the, 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 who want to volunteer your answer? Anyone want to volunteer your answer? Okay, if not, then we start with chi, chi ye, Yong Chi ye. Hello, sir. Yep. Uh, can you speak louder? I can't hear you. Uh, oh, now it's very good. Okay, I try my best. Need to be yes, always it. try your okay. best. Strong doesn't matter. Okay, the okay. technology that I have chosen is network development or internet, so called internet. According to internet, it was uh, slower. Uh, okay, according to internet, it was officially born in year of 1969, whereby that during that time, internet was only allowed to be used for the data transmissions. <laughs> And with the revolution progress in year 90, 1971, email could be sent via internet to other users. Time passes again with the various protocol and gateway on new elements being added into internet. Another name of internet, Wi-Fi, was being developed in the time of 2000s. Until now, with various usage, usage that could help humans in sending branch of data and information, picture uh, videos to others, and brought conveniences to human in that really save time tool instead of posting letter. From the wheel of philosophy toward internet, it did affect and still continue in 
affecting people nowadays, especially after the high-speed network Wi-Fi was invented. Most of the people spend a lot of time on browsing and scrolling for information or even uh, for fun or even do nothing. It pro prolongs our secondary lifestyle too, especially during the pandemic period. Every one of us are using Wi-Fi to communicate, to work with less physical movement. With the, with this, when this action persists and it became habit, it brings ramifications to human body, illness such as diabetes, obesity might easily to be defected in most of the people. With the invention of internet, it raises ethical and moral equations from time to time, such, such as cyberbullying, scam and illegal uh, pornography. On, uh, yeah, which point are you, are, are you referring to now? The nine elements, which element are you referring to now? Uh, for this one is... Uh... I, I I think it's a sociological. Okay, so you mentioned about which point first, then only you describe your answer, yeah? Because otherwise, oh, sometimes okay. you, you, you may describe under the wrong point. Okay. Okay. So um, so for this one is, uh, we raise the moral equations from time to time, such as cyberbullying, scam, and illegal pornography that keep occurring and show on the headline of the newspaper. People protest all this issue and demonstrate to the government, but all this seem this seem like just a uh, fatal as not much issue are being solved from politicals and law. With all the issue confirmed by the internet, government does come up with strategy and law to restrict and control the user capability on the internet, such as restricting their country citizen to access to some of the illegal website. Besides. New laws are enforced to deal with the scam of black technology or preventing people from hacking or stealing data and information from others, especially the private or confidential data of a person or government. <clears throat> okay, so now it's a uh, talk about the socialize. Uh, the, eh, oh, okay. the internet is changing the way we work, socialize, uh, create and share information and organize the flow of people, ideas and things around the global. Yet the magnitude of this transformation is still underappreciated. Under the internet accounted for 21% of the GDP growth in metro economics over the past five years. In that time, we went that? from... Uh, sorry, this is uh, eco economy. Economy, yeah. yeah, okay. uh, yeah. So uh, in, uh, in that time, we went from a few thousand students assessing Facebook to more than 800 million users around the world, including many leading firms who regularly update their pages and share content. While large enterprises and national economies have read major benefits from this technology revolution, individual consumer and small upstart entrepreneurs have been some of the greatest beneficiaries from the internet's empowering influence. If internet were a sector, it would have a greater weight in GDP than agriculture or utilities. That's all from me. Uh, I okay, think... know about physiology, psychology, uh, philosophy. The, uh, uh, philosophy, I did mention just now. The other uh, stage, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, okay. Then how about psychology and physiology? Uh, Actually, psychology. when you are discussing, if I'm not mistaken, it's under the sociology. You are talking that we have a long, uh, we didn't change our posture for a long time or whatever, isn't it? That can can cause some illness, right? Yes, correct. Yep, that you can put under physiology. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That's why it is important for you to mention which point are you talking about. You can put under physiology that is uh, causing the the body ache or whatever. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. Good try. Uh, let's listen from Wing Liang. Uh, hi, sir. Can you hear me? I, I can. Very clear. Okay. Uh, so the technology that I to discuss is mobile phone. Uh, the history of mobile phone is that before the Second World War era, there is no mobile phone. Only landline is available. The development of mobile phone only begins after the Second World War. In 1984, the first mobile phone was developed. However, the mobile phone back then is not as sophisticated as current mobile phone. Only upon 21st century, the functions of mobile phone increase drastically. It is capable of browsing internet, communications through long distance, capturing image, and etc. Which point are you, which element are you talking about now? Uh, 
uh, history. Oh, now I'm going to the okay. three model. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not exaggerating to state that mobile phones is a daily necessity nowadays. It's evident by the fact that society requires mobile phone to perform various tasks such as online learning, business meeting, and communications. This raises an issue that society spends too much time on mobile phones, which in some cases people became addicted to it. Uh, next, moving on to the sociology model, mobile phones may have positive or negative impact on family relationship, depends on the usage and applications. Mobile phones solve the problems of long distance communications, which allow family members to contact with one another regardless of distance. However, if a person is using mobile phone for other features such as browsing internet to play uh, games, it may lead them to spend less time with their family and they are addicted to mobile games and instead of spending time with family. Uh, next, moving on to the psychology model. Along with cellular network, mobile phones can browse the internet. Uh, some youngsters who are immature have immature mindsets will view the uh, view some, some contents that is violent or content pornography which may affect them psychologically which so sometimes leads them to be a problem when they grow up. Next, moving on to the politics model. The governments will be the one who raise the issue and provide a solution for the for the issue that was caused by mobile phones. It is evident by the fact that the government of Malaysia um, restrict the access to websites that have violence or pornographic contents or any contents that cause the society to panic. Uh, next, moving on to the economic model, mobile the development of mobile phones boosts the economy of the country. This is evident by the examples such as South Korea Samsung company, which is responsible for the 21% boost of the country GDP. And next, moving on to the physiology model, is that mobile phones emit radiations and sometimes cause the sickness to persons. In severe cases, the user sometimes become blind due to using mobile phones under that area. Next, moving on to the ecology, the Development of mobile phones instead instead made the indeed made the communications to be more effective. However, the presence of the battery required for mo mo mobile phones uh, has the negative impact on the on the environment. Uh, the development of mobile phones is very fast, and the user tends to change their phones annually, which results in the battery of the mobile phones to dispose um, without concerning the environment. Yeah, continue. Uh, that's all. Okay, all right, good. But when you say let's moving on to another elements, uh, that is, uh, for example, let's move move on to uh, psychological elements. It is not model, yeah? You mentioned oh. that move to psychological model, move, move to uh, sociology model that is not model the model is referring to the whole nine elements there okay do you get me okay. yeah okay. Uh, you can say yeah. elements okay but not model okay good try uh caching one caching are you there one caching uh hello 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 uh, a bit soft uh, caching Mm, okay, okay. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, can't hear you clearly, yeah. Because I can't adjust the volume. I actually, I also don't know what's the problem. Never mind, never mind. I, I, I adjust my one. I use headphone. Okay, come. Uh, in the historical way, before the. Uh, what technology is... first? Uh, Kashi? oh, oh, smartphone. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, before the smartphone is invented, mobile phone actually is a big metal box to deliver the message, uh, which was invented in 1982. Not like smartphone can browse the internet and sending the documents, people only can use it to deliver the message through the calling of number. Besides, it's almost 10 kg weight to bring to anywhere, so it's very heavy. It's not convenient to the users at all, previously. 
So in the philosophy side, since smartphone nowadays is able to send documents through the internet, students and businessmen will have the higher productivity on completing their work and hence increase their quality of life. Uh, in sociology, the bonding between the friends or family will be strengthened up. This is because people can use the smartphone to call or message people uh, through the internet or such as WhatsApp or WeChat. Uh, they are able to communicate even with the 100 miles away. So distance is no matter it's a problem for a communication nowadays. In psychology, some people become more introvert after using the smartphone to communicate with messaging. If people is only used to communicate with only smartphone, when in the face-to-face -face communication situation, some, pe some people will feel uncomfortable or awkward to talk. Uh, there is not much implication on politics. For law, many people misusing the phone to scam people's money. Thus, there's law to restrict people scamming or hacking using the phone. In ecology side, people can communicate through the phone, so there's not necessary to travel a far distance to have a communication between them. Thus, the lesser the number of traveling, the lesser the pollution from the vehicle to the environment. At the psych physi physiology side, the effect of radiation will be the problem to the health of users. Some users are addicted playing the phone. Longer time of seeing the phone will suffer from short-sighted. If users keep using the smartphone under dark area, in the serious case, the eye, the, their eyes may be blind. Yeah, that's all for me. Okay, you are combining politics and law together, is it? Oh, but... But... but I think not much implication on politics or because I don't know mm -hmm. what's the effect of smartphone to the politics. Okay, okay. So uh, that's why you say that there's not, not much uh, uh, information on the politics. Uh. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. All right. But when you're talking about sociology, uh, you're talking about the good things of a mobile phone, but there are some uh, negative effects. You should have uh, discuss it also. Oh, right. so I need to discuss, discuss the advantages and the non-advantages also. Uh, not advantages and, and non uh, or, or disadvantages. Uh, is is a, a positive impact and negative impact. Oh. You have to look at both sides, okay? So that your, 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 your argument is more convincing. Okay, Kashin? Okay. Okay, right, uh, let's uh, listen to Chongyi. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, can. Yeah. yeah, can. Okay. So my topic is uh, agriculture. Agriculture. So agriculture is a yes. Agriculture, is it? okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So agriculture is a technology practice which involves cultivating plants and livestock, and it's a technology that involves knowledge research, various kind of technical practices and applications. Agriculture is one of the essential technology for modern society as it's part of human basic needs. From the history, uh, from the aspect of history, agriculture, agriculture as a technology have more than few thousand history ever since the human civilization began. And go on to the sociology. Uh, current world, the uh, uh, current world that is still around 690 million people in the world uh, suffering with the food scarcity which could lead to a region, uh, regional hunger and war. The food resources is important to social stability and uh, as mentioned before, the, there's a quite a large population of people uh, suffering with the food security. So the, the, the nation, the country around the world have, have, have established a foundation to support those poverty conditions to mitigate their conditions. And one of their target is to eradicate the extreme poverty and the, the food hunger. 
from the economic aspects, agriculture is an important sector as and, and as in every moment, there's tons of uh, crops and livestock to deliver and create incomes to, especially in the agriculture-based country. Well, from the aspect from ecology, agriculture has uh, bring many impacts in uh, negative forms as one of the most known is the deforestations, as it could cause the climate change and floodings and etc. It also destroys habitats and causes extinctions of species, which could induce a species imbalance and hence negative, negatively impact on the agriculture itself. So that's it from me as the philosophy and psychology is not it. Okay, good. Right. This is your own answer, right? Not downloading from the internet one, right? Uh, yeah, just part of the data is from the internet. Yeah, okay, okay. Just the data or, or, or points, even opinion is from internet is fine, but you need to rewrite using your own words, yeah? Okay, good. Uh, let's listen to uh, Yisi. Yo, Yisi. Hi, so, yeah, um, yeah. Fine. Well, my is refrigerator. Uh -huh. One of the earliest form of refrigerator for coal and ice house in 19th century, refrigerator for home was invented in market. So nowadays, refrigerator is one of the most common technology in our life. For economy animals, refrigerator helps to save the cost which buy fresh food for longer safe consumption. For sociology, it helps you to store food and drink to prevent spoil and even left over to be enjoyed. So refrigerator is very useful in our lives. So there was no relevant physiology, psychology, politics, law, eco ecology, and physiology on refrigerator. That's very smart. Huh? You took something that so many elements are not relevant, you say. Yeah. So when you discuss about the history, you can say that last time without the refrigerator, how did people store their food and so forth? And now with the with the invention of a refrigerator, how did people store their food? Okay, so this is one you can put under the, the history. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, why you think that psychological side or whatever it is not relevant. Uh, because I didn't, I didn't have any points. You you didn't have any point. Mean the uh, doesn't mean that it is uh, not relevant, isn't it? Maybe right. affect a bit, but I think uh, it's in what way? In what way? Mm. Because yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Example, you are only talking about economy, history, and uh, only two uh, two or three elements only, right? Yeah. So it's a bit uh too less, yeah too few okay you need to uh, uh you just think about it the psychological side or physiological side is there any any effect or not and, and how about ecological definitely there will be an impact on the ecological side right think about it now let's move to uh leong ho ah uh, yeah Leong Ho, come uh the technology of my point is the rotatory uh, rotatory parking system is rotary, like very uh, few what, what system rotate rotary rotary smart parking, parking system. system okay mm -hmm. uh, it's like a ferry wheel with parking lots on it and it is first implemented in 1920 at Paris at the uh, philosophy elements did the parking start system install time for the customer to get the parking slot will step a lot and hence Car fuel using also safe efficiency. Despite in what way does it help to achieve this? Huh? In what way does the, the rotary uh, car park help to achieve this? Uh, compared to the parking on the road side, uh, for the car, uh, for the smart parking system, the customer will only have to park inside the parking slot determined, uh, uh, specified, and then they will automatic part inside the system. Just they they have they would not uh not need to go and search for the parking slot and it's time wasting. Despite uh 
the with the safety system installed in the smart parking system, the park the car park inside the inside the smart parking system are better secure and granted compared to the parking at the roadside. Uh, next, the uh, sociology element. For those places which install the rotatory smart parking system, it provides smart smart places, uh, smart parking slot compared to the current slot. Which, which they, they are using they, the concept of the parking slot is using two parking slot to provide eighteen until twenty four parking slot. Therefore, this is easier for customer to search and park inside it with the time efficiency. With this, uh, customer will skip the feeling of the helpless caused by unable to get the parking slot. And they will further enjoy their journey. Then the psychology element, political element, and law element, I think they are not relevant. Next is the economy element. element. Although to park inside the rotatory parking system, customers are required to pay for it. Compared to free parking at the road side, customer will feel that the parking fees are worth more than it because customer will get a better secure and they are more uh, rely on it due to it have the safety system park, uh, install, installation in it. Next is ecology is element. The, con the concept of the Rotary parking system I mentioned before is using two slots to provide 18 to 24 parking slots. In fact, they are better utilize the space and get the most parking slot as possible. Compared to the other, like the parking building, they, these are more utilized the places using. Uh, that's all for me. All right, okay, good. But when you're talking about this uh, technology, uh, you need to be very careful. In this question, we, the, we did not mention about the technology in Malaysia, okay? But if, uh, let's say, the question is talking about uh, choose a technology that uh, in, in Malaysia and then discuss blah, 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 then you need to be careful already. Is this mm. technology available in Malaysia now? Not yet. Uh, so not yet. So is it fulfilling the, the characteristic of the uh, technology? Such a, a form of cultural activities, and, and transforming a material life and so on so, and so forth. It is not, isn't it? Right? Yes. So in that case, uh, if the question asking you about the technology in Malaysia and you quote this example, it may not give you uh, any any marks on that. Okay? Because yeah, I, you, I, I understand. Yeah. You understand, huh? you realize that. Huh? Okay? Yes. All right. Okay. So uh, class, B, uh, basically, I find that your the way that you answer the question is become better as compared to the first few weeks of, uh, of the uh, answer or the tutorial answer, okay? So may I know why, what is the reason? Is it because of the question is more direct that you can uh, easier for you to understand or because your writing skill or your critical thinking, critical thinking skill is improved? What may I know what is the reasons? Chong Yi? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, I what do you think? The reason is that it does, uh, it does improve our writing skill and reading uh, presentation skills and well, some of the questions also more direct. It's more direct question then easier to understand, all right? Yeah. yeah, okay. How about uh, Shinshan? Uh, I think because more practice than used to it. More practice you used to it. But just now you're asking for extra time or that is more, uh, more, more than the times allowed in the examination hall. Eh? Uh, because this one got nine elements, so I have to write more. Okay. So uh, yeah, just now I should ask you to, to present first, right? <laughs> you want to present now? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Regret to say that already, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, class, uh, generally, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to see the improvement that in your answer, okay? Uh, but there is still room for improvement. Uh, yeah? uh, how about assignment? Have you have uh, finished your assignment? Or still doing? Uh, done, sir. Done already? 
Yeah, okay, good. So as I say, I'll let someone to read through it. Huh? Let get one of your group team member to read, to read through so that make sure that there is no overlapping and the flow is okay. All right, okay. Any question before we end the class today? Okay, if no, then we will end the class and please be reminded uh, next week there, will, there won't be any class for, uh, for engineer and society. Huh? All right, okay. See you two weeks later. Uh, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, just now, can you hear my voice upon taking attendance? Ah, uh? uh, Kaishen, uh, yes, yes. My name is Saw Yen Zhang. Huh? My name is Yen Zhang. So, not Kaishen, uh, 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 what no. is your name? Uh, surname? Saw. So, so Yen Zhang. Oh, okay. Uh, luckily, you remind me. Uh. So, okay. sorry, Mark, you're absent. Uh. What yeah. time did you join the class? Uh, 11.30. Wow, eleven thirty. Uh, just now, I think it's having my issue. Oh, okay, okay. I mark you as uh, present already. Okay, 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 thank you, sir. All right, okay. Any other question? No, sir. Okay, if no question, then we dismiss the class and have a have a nice uh, weekend. Thank you, sir.